Ken Carson has been going absolutely crazy with the rollout of his project and all of his new music videos. Him and Opium have developed a really unique visual style for all of their music videos and projects. Today, I'm going to be breaking down how you can edit like Ken Carson and Opium. Inside of Premiere Pro here, we have a few clips from the Jennifer's Body music video. All of these you can recreate super simply on your footage, starting with this very first one here. We're going to create the effect on this clip right here. Now, starting off first, we're going to open up effects and we're going to apply on thread threshold and noise as well. Once you have threshold and noise on, I recommend turning up the noise and putting that above the threshold. Then we're going to drop down this threshold level here and bring it down just like so. And then we're going to bring the noise down as well. Once we have our noise and threshold parameters locked in, you guys will get a look similar to this. Tweak this to your liking, guys. So that already looks super fire there. And then to get that inverted color look, you're going to go and put on invert underneath channel here and boom, you're going to get that complete opposite flipped color like they have here and then you can go back and tweak the threshold and the noise to get it how you want to match your colors but if you guys are looking for super simple drag and drop presets i created an entire opium look editing pack that includes this effect and 30 plus more we're going to open up the opium looks preset pack now if we go ahead and drag these on here as you guys can see we have the first one which we just created we have it with a glitch which looks super cool there we have a camcorder one in black and white we have the glitch that you can just drag on your footage we have this really fire night vision effect that's super similar to the effect Cole Bennett used in the Fighting My Demons music video here. And then alongside all of those presets, we also have a bunch of overlays. So if we open up all of these CRT overlays here and we go and set them to screen, you guys can see on top of our video clips, we have all of these crazy CRT effects that you guys can use as transitions on your videos. There's about two minutes and 30 seconds of them just going absolutely crazy. They really have that opium aesthetic. If you guys are interested in this pack, it's 50% off today only. It'll be linked in the description below but without further ado let's hop into explaining a little bit more of these effects here so to create a look like this on your footage we're going to be using this clip as an example here we go over to lumetri color and we turn down the saturation all the way turn up the highlights turn down the shadows and then turn up the whites and then maybe raise the exposure a little bit we'll have a similar color style to this one here with the whites being super blown out and the blacks being very very dark it's a little bit different because this is a way brighter scene if you were to do this on a clip very similar to this you'd have the exact same outcome now what they did here as well is they have the time in the bottom so we can create that by going over to our text tool here and put a random date we're going to change that from tahoma to ariel they love to use ariel bold on their videos and size that down and put it in the corner just like so now to create the glitchy grunge text effects here that they have in the bottom we can just drag and drop the low res text effect onto it here and then inside of effect controls you guys can play with the amount to get it the exact look you want it as and boom you have have the time in the bottom corner like they have here. Now to get a look like this one here that's super cool and unique, we're going to go ahead and throw a threshold on and we're going to bring it down until you can almost see everything here. Then we're going to go ahead and apply some noise to it, bring the noise above the threshold and turn the noise up just a little bit like so. Then we're going to put on find edges on this here, as you guys can see, and then going ahead and putting on channel invert can get an extremely similar look just like this here, guys. And if you wanted to take it a step further, you could duplicate your clip like I just did here and turn off the invert and find edges, put the invert and find edges on top and set this to screen. And then you can go over to your opacity and mask out his face and hit invert and then copy the mask and put it on the other layer here and hit invert. So you can have his face looking normal and and everything else inverted or if you want you can switch these and have his face with the scan lines and everything else normal i don't know you guys can mess around with these effects everything i'm creating here is inside of the opium looks preset pack that will be linked below and if you guys mainly use after effects over premiere pro for your effects and you have plugins like universe and sapphire i recommend brian delimata's opium preset banks if we open up our effects and presets here you guys can see we have hits and then we have textures. For example, if we drag and drop feel like dying on here, you guys could see we have a really unique grain effect. We put fly shit on here. We have a super warped glowing effect here. High as shit. This is very reminiscent of the old Ken Carson music videos here, as you guys can see. And I could just go on for days showing you guys all these. We have a super drugged out lean for real effect here. And then we have a bunch of hits here as well that you put on your video on an adjustment layer for when the beat hits. As you guys could see, it flashes there. 
And these are all just super unique and fully customizable, and they work hand in hand with the Opium Looks preset pack that I have in Premiere Pro. So if you create a cool texture and a cool effect in my Premiere preset pack and want to add some hits to it or some more textures inside of After Effects, you can do that super simply with this pack here. That will also be linked in the description below. If you guys enjoyed this video and are loving Ken Carson's new music videos and album, I recommend you guys go check out this video linked right here. It is the full breakdown of this old Freestyle 2 music video. I put a lot of time and effort into it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.